We are again live from the Vol Navy on a terrific, terrific boat, the Orange Pearl. We want to bring in the owner, Lee Lewis, who's been kind enough to let us come in on this boat. I got this is something else. Beth and I have already told you we'll be back here on Monday. What time? Well, tomorrow, what time should I show up? Well, you know, just about any time's fine. Okay, you know, we're, You're always welcome. It, well, tell us a little bit about this boat, Lee. Well, this is the Orange Pearl. And uh, first off, welcome aboard the Orange well, Pearl thanks. and welcome to the Vol Navy. This is what they call a wide body. It's 20 feet wide, 101 feet long, wow. three bedroom, two bath. It's owned by Tennessee State Bank, and we use it to entertain and have a, a tailgate party on home games. Well, I should have told Russell to bring his Speedo, his bathing suit, because this boat comes complete with a hot tub. <laughs> well, not only that, but we've got a slide off the back, so he, oh, could, really? he could cannonball I off of it. Jet ski on the back, too. And you, you got a few bedrooms on this thing. We have three bedrooms, so you know we got plenty of places for people to lay down and take a nap. Unbelievable. And you can't beat the atmosphere in addition to those 50 boats that have already anchored here for Vol Navy. We have a patio behind us from Calhoun's. Folks in place already, fans ready to cheer on Tennessee. Hey guys, <laughs> how are you? And I gotta tell you, there are a lot of Alabama people here as well. There they're are. Welcome too. Yeah, they're, they're welcome, welcome too. To Listen to you, Lee. Yeah. Terrific. That's what, fantastic. What is it like here, especially with this particular weekend with Alabama for the Vol Navy? I mean, it gets ramped up a little bit, it doesn't it? It gets really ramped up. It's electric. It's just exciting. I mean, we've got 50 boats so far. Wouldn't surprise me for there to be 100 boats by kickoff. Wow. And everybody's just, all the camaraderie is just great. It's just electric. And when, of course, the Vol score a touchdown, every horn on every boat goes <laughs> off. It's we let you know that we did something. So just so I understand, most of Vol Navy stays in the in the boat, uh, stays again, docked again, during the game. Do. Some folks go to the game, but you know, of course, here the TV's right there. It's kind of laid back, kind of easy. Really, no wait for the restrooms or anything. Yeah. And you can hear the people at the so stadium. So we can hear it. So yeah, it, it, most people stay down here. I gotta tell you, this is one of the coolest things we have done. We are part of the Vol Navy here at Tennessee, just off Neyland Drive. If you're just now joining us, it is a tradition here at the University of Tennessee. And Lee Lewis, our host today on the Orange Pearl, we appreciate well, it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We're Absolutely. Glad to have you. We're going to get a little tour a little bit later yes, in the show and have some of the, some of his dips as well. But today is officially Big Orange Friday. Governor Haslam announced that this would be Big Orange Friday earlier in the week, encouraging people to wear orange all the way from Memphis up to Bristol. Yeah, and Student Government Association shared their Big Orange Friday spirit by handing out snacks on pedestrian walkway. They do this every Friday to get the students engaged with game day. It included um, the snack, Orange Crush, of course, to hopefully crush the Crimson Tide. Love promoting school spirit, just love getting everybody hyped, especially if it's a big football game like the one this weekend. Just getting, just seeing everybody in their orange just warms our heart. Go ball, Go ball. Governor Haslam has officially proclaimed, as Russell said, today, October 19th. If you're just now hearing this, it is Big Orange Friday across the state, which means you need to be sporting your Tennessee Orange to cheer on the balls. We encourage fans and the community to support Tennessee athletics. All right, we're seeing some pictures now of folks wearing their Big Orange. They've been doing it all day. We were live on campus this morning. We saw people out, so it's been a fun time getting ready for the Alabama game. Folks dressed up in the orange, and of course, you do see some crimson around here as well. You see a lot of crimson, a lot of... Uh, uh, Alabama fans not only they live here but it's close by how far is it from Tuscaloosa it's about four and a half five hours it's something a lot like of that. bad drive so. many coming ahead today to get ready to tailgate and take in all the activities here in Knoxville on UT campus yeah.